Did you know that you can turn your submission data into a report? Well, let me show you how with JotForms Report Builder. Hey JotFormers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly. And if you are like me and you love all things data, you love to see your submission data broken out into charts and graphs in easily digestible formats. So let me show you how to do that with our report builder. So you can do this from any one of your forms. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose my appointment request form. Over on the right-hand side, I'm gonna choose more, and then I'm gonna choose under data to create a report. Now from here, we're gonna choose the top left option, the visual report builder. And it went ahead and took my form's name, which was appointment request, and it made this report called appointment request. So we can see that it has broken everything down for us into a viewable slideshow. So if I want, I see everything on the right hand side, but I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick scroll and we can see all of this data broken out. I'm gonna go ahead and jump down to number six right here. Now, one thing that you can do is, again, all of this is editable. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose tags. I'm gonna choose the gear. And we can see right now that it is currently in a pie chart format, but if we want it to be a donut chart or maybe a bar chart or column, we get to make that choice of how this data is represented. Now, we can also turn on and off that summary that's gonna show right up here. Then under data, we can even toggle on and off specific things. If we want, we can turn off the response value so we can see just the percentages and not how many people submitted. We can turn off the percentages. Opposite, we get to see how many people submitted, but not the percentages. And if we want, we can have those percentages rounded up as well. Now, down here at the very bottom, we get to change the color. If we want. Maybe we want this to be red. We can change this one, the in progress option to be orange. And then we can change our to do to be this yellow color. But we can also jump over to our style option and we can change the font family. We can change the font size, the text color, the alignment. And then again with our chart settings, there's a lot of different things that you can do to make this your own. Now, if there's any data in here that you would like to see duplicated, maybe represented in a different way, or you want to create your own, we can do a plus right here. We can add in a blank page. Then over on the left-hand side, if you're familiar with our form builder, all we have to do is just add in some elements. Now we can add in some basic elements like text, image, shapes, or we can use our form fields and we can bring in that information. So maybe we want our service price and we want our gratuity on the same one. And then we can, again, change how that is represented. And we can make these bigger to take up the entire slide, but it's as simple as that. Now, in order to preview everything, all we need to do is the top right-hand corner. We can do preview. And then we have a slideshow view of our findings. Let's go ahead and click through a few. We have those grids and then we have those charts as well. Now, if you want, you can even share this with other people. So again, top right hand corner, we can go up here to publish. Right now it is a private report. So if you would like to make it a public report, just be aware that anyone can see all of this data. I'm gonna go ahead and go back. We can see it's now public. We can copy this link to send it through the appropriate channels or we can even embed this on our website. And it really is as simple as that. If you have any questions about how to turn your submission data into a report, let us know down below in the comments. If you like this video and you got some value, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.